Okay, so we have this nice variable expression here, and it is 2m plus n over n. And I'd like you to simplify this, okay? So for example, if I had uh, 10 over 30, you could reduce that down to 1 third, okay? So I'd like you to go ahead and simplify this, but be careful because probably 90% of you are gonna make this error or have made this error, and uh, hopefully you stop making this error, but we're gonna get into what this error is in a second. I'm not gonna give you too many hints because I want you to think about this particular problem. Again, simplify this variable, variable expression, and if you know how to do this problem, it should take you all of about uh, maybe five to 10 seconds, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna cover exactly what I'm talking about here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I am the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, very uh, quickly, I basically have 100 plus different math courses, ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you are at the middle school, high school, or even college level uh, mathematics, I can help you out in your courses if you're taking any test that has math on it. So for example, the GED, HiSET, TASC, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACER, CLEP exam, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, uh, and many, many others. You can see there's a lot of exams out there that have a dedicated math section on them. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a complete comprehensive homeschool math uh, curriculum. And if you need some math notes, I am going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. Hopefully you do not need my math notes because one of the most important things you could be doing to be successful in mathematics is to be taking great math notes. Okay, I've been teaching math for decades, and this is more important than I think most students realize. Okay, so go ahead and simplify this, and um, we're going to go ahead and talk about this particular error. So let's go down and check out the answer. Okay, all right, so uh, let's see here. All right, I can do this. So the answer is 2M. All right, so how many out there um, have this as your answer? Okay, now if you did uh, write this down, I must go ahead and give you, unfortunately, a sad face. You're like, what? What are you talking about? A sad face? Isn't this, this the right answer? No, 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 no. This is not the right answer again here. This is like what 90% of people think that they can do. And uh, if you made this error, do not feel bad. We're gonna go ahead and talk about why I think a lot of people you know, make this error, okay? And then we'll try to reinforce why you cannot do this in algebra. Uh, now, what is the answer? Well, guess what? There's nothing you can do here. <laughs> this is as simple as it is. So if you said the answer is uh, nothing, uh, you cannot simplify this, then there, let me go to you check mark. As a matter of fact, let me give you a little happy face. Nice job. Man, I'll go ahead and give you a little A plus as well. Okay. So, um, but don't feel bad if you confuse this. A lot of students uh, do confuse this. They'll say, oh, look, this is the same variable. I can cross cancel those. It's just so tempting. They're just kind of hanging out there perfectly ready to be cross canceled. Let's go ahead and take a look at. Um, um, a couple different things here when you can do that. And then I'm going to talk about uh, just reinforce why we can't uh, do this particular, um, you know, can't do this in algebra. Now, what if I had this problem? 2mn over n. Now, can I simplify this? Absolutely. Here, I can go ahead and cross cancel those m's or those n's rather, excuse me, and I would be left with 2m. This is perfectly okay. You can only cross cancel when you're, we're talking about factors, okay? Factors, things that are separated between multiplication um, uh, symbols or multiplication operators. So 2mn, this is 2 times m times n over n, okay? These are like factors. You can cross cancel like factors in a fraction, okay? That's perfectly fine, but over here, this is a sum or difference. Let's take a look at an example, uh, an easier example here. What if I had m plus n over n? Now this is even more enticing, right? So most students would be like, man, I just wanna like go like that. I know I can do it. I just wanna just do that so uh, badly. Well, you can't do that. Now let's, let's look at uh, 
why you cannot do that. Okay, and this applies to both sums and differences. But a good way to kind of reinforce this is let's put some numbers in here. What if I had uh, m? Let's just make that a number two, and let's make this n three. So that would be two plus three. So if this is three, then this down here would have to be three. Okay, so this would be an equivalent problem right here, right? So if we could, in fact, cross cancel, if that was uh, legal to do in mathematics, then if I have this uh, fraction, two plus three over three, well, then I could go like this and the answer would be two, okay? Well, what is the answer? Well, let me just leave this uh, incorrect uh, uh, problem right here and let's take a look at it this way. So two plus three over three, okay, two plus three is five, uh, and that's five uh, divided by three. Okay, five divided by three is not two. Okay, so this is not the same as that. So anytime you have sums or differences like m minus n over n or m plus n over n, you cannot go like this. Now let's talk about um, what you can do. What if I had n m plus n over n. Now, can I do anything there? Okay, so my question is, can we simplify this? The answer would be yes, okay? Now, the way I would have to do that is I would have to factor out this n, so that would be n times m plus one over n, okay? It's because n, if I multiply it right here, n times m, I get n m, and then n times 1, I get back to n, okay, over n. So you got to use a distributor property uh, to uh, factor out an m. So I'm using this word factor, right? So we're talking basic algebra here, factor. So this now is a factor. This is n. Let me just erase this right here. This is n times m plus 1, okay? n times m plus 1. So, so now you do have two factors, n and m plus 1. So I could cross cancel those factors and I'm left with m plus 1. Okay, so um, if you got this problem uh, wrong, I'm glad that you made this error because, um, you know, now you're saying, you know, oh, okay, I was confused about that. Listen, it's perfectly okay to make mistakes. Making mistakes is part of the learning process. Don't feel like you're going to be able to learn math or anything perfectly okay so make him do not feel bad about making mistakes at all however you got to learn from those mistakes so if you're getting you know your your homework back or your quizzes or your tests back and you're getting things wrong you have to address what you're getting wrong so how do you do that well you go to your teacher and say hey what am i doing wrong you got to take note of what you're confusing and then fix that okay so if you got this particular uh, problem wrong i'm glad that you did because now you know uh, what not to do, right? And if that is the case, if you said, yeah, this video helped me out, please go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So please take advantage of all the content on my channel and all the uh, material I will be posting. Um, so, Again, if you're in pre-algebra, I have a pre-algebra playlist. If you're in Algebra 2 or Geometry, I have various playlists on my channel. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.